talk to me. They like you. What's up, hey, everybody? Welcome back to yet again another movie review. And whew, I got something to talk to y'all about. Think of the movie that my older sister Sheila told me to watch. So, Sheila, hello. This video is dedicated for you. But before I dive into all the good, the bad, and the ugly, let me give you a little bit of plot of what this movie is about. This movie tells a story about a group of friends unleash the supernatural force among the hand that seem to talk to them. And they quickly realize that this hand has now worked its way into our world. Okay, so this is a film that came out in uh, 2023. Last year, and I did not watch it. I didn't watch any trailer. I didn't watch any other reviews on it. But I did hear that this might be the most scariest horror film in a long ass time. So after I got down watching the movie, I was able to take a bunch of notes on what I actually have written here. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I usually don't take the hype, but this is a creepy ass movie. So to kick things off with my folks pro, what have to be the concept and the execution, my God, is fucking on point. I mean, this movie sets up. It feels like a haunted house slash demonic possession like movie, but they take something so different and just spice it up and just turn it into something so much bigger than all those things that I just named. And when I mean the concept and the execution, it's like this. It's like fucking glue. It holds up perfectly. And the reason I say that is because some horror films, the concept and the execution don't always match. But for some reason, this film holds up perfectly with the execution and the concept. It's done flawlessly. And to go along with that, this film is so unique, it's so creative, it, it feels different when you're watching it. I have seen so many fucking horror films that try to be different, but it falls under that same typical bullshit that you've seen in every other horror film. You see something, a loud little bang over here, and then what happened? You look over here, then the character starts screaming in your fucking face. In this film, it seems like they were going for everything that I was thinking, and for some reason, they pulled the rug underneath my feet because how unique it was. Right when I thought I knew what was about to happen, this film was like, no, bitch, you don't know shit. So shut the fuck up and sit down. And that's exactly the type of experience I've been looking for for a movie like this for a very long time. Be creative, be, be, and be unique at the same time. And you don't see movies being unique like that very often. And one of my favorite parts, which should have been my final pro, but I have to, I have to say this. If you've been following my channel for the first time I started, on up into now, you a fucking legend. You already know what I'm about to say. This movie have fucking practical effect and makeup that look fucking amazing. It is literally jaw dropping how insane those two hold up. Just like I said with the concept and the execution, the makeup and the fucking practical effect look like Fucking gold. I love it so much. I can't play this movie enough because it used that. And I love the fact, especially, like, in particular, there's, like, certain times where, when, like, the characters will put their, um, they hand on, like, their statue hand and they say, talk to me. And then they say, I let you in. And then they get fucking possessed and shit. Then they eyes turn black. Who would have thought that in today's talk, they knew what practical effect and makeup was. Who would have known? Who would have known? Not only it looked good, but it makes the movie feel more creepy, more disturbing, more more scary for what they're trying to go for. It. 
especially with the concept in the execution. Because like I said before, when you have two things that match, you get a movie like this, it makes this whole movie look fucking awesome with them two together. And another thing that I have to play this movie for was... Uh, I'm actually quite surprised I'm finna say this next. You've been following my channel for a long time, you already know. The jump scares in this film isn't that jump scare what I said earlier where a character look over here, then they look over here, and then there's a loud noise. In this movie, there's like jump scares that like you know it's a jump scare, but it isn't that typical jump scare where it's like a loud noise or a loud stream. It ties into the story. To give you an example, no spoiler here, but to give you an example, our main protagonist um, has an incident with her mother, okay? No spoiler, because I know there's a lot of people who haven't seen it. But there's a certain thing that happened to her mother. And so, when the movie ties into what's going on, when you do see her mom, it isn't like it's a loud noise or a loud jump scare. It's just that her mother is there for a purpose and one purpose only. And I kind of like this movie further because I was actually anticipating loud noises, loud streaming, loud banging. And I didn't get any of that. And I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that I'm saying that in modern horror. Another pro for me would have to be the fact that this movie is well act and direct. Specifically, there's like certain scenes that the movie will go into. And I don't really know how to explain this without spoiling anything. Okay, I'm gonna put like this here. So there's like transition between our world and the spiritual world. And the atmosphere and the visuals and all that together. Somehow this movie managed to make it work and it is so amazing to see. There's a scene in the movie where um, you can see somebody laying down and then the camera will do like a little weird little turn and then they'll walk off the bed even though the bed was just laying down but then it's sitting up. I love shit like that. Shit like that is amazing. It shows how talented a director is. And that's why I say it's well direct because the visuals and the transition between scene to scene is absolutely fucking flawless and it's amazing to see. To go along with that, like I said before I said again, it's the fact is that the acting, so specifically when the characters get possessed, it's like body movements that they do. If the body movement was not good, this shit would have failed at the bottom for me. This would have been a straight up F for me. Because the body language seems to show more than what the character can say out their mouth when they're being possessed by demonic uh, demons. So I love that. And another pro for me would have to be the fact that this movie is so inspiring for me. Because when I was watching this film, the first thing I said to myself, about time. About fucking time that I have a different horror film to watch other than the same typical horror movie about the same shit. This film is so inspiring for me because it shows why I want to be a director myself. Because I have so many cool ideas for different concepts and different ideas that could be on the big screen. And this is exactly what I've been looking for. Something fresh to review and this is it moving on into the con really only got one con about this movie and <laughs> it's a weird one but just hear me out minor spoiler so there's a scene in the movie where our main protagonist um who name is Mia by the way and she was basically sucking on the toes of a boy who was asleep when she was in her look uh, demonic, uh, possession, uh, thing. And so he wakes up like, what the fuck you done? You're sucking my toes. And somehow, some way, she seemed to have forgotten that she was doing that. But that isn't what we saw. But then, like I said, it goes along with the editing. It kind of flipped back. It showed us, no spoiler, it showed us something else that was going on when she was sucking on the toes. But then it flipped to her. But... Yeah, like I said, that's the only thing that I kind of, like, when I saw her doing I'm like, Ugh, please, stop. I swear to God, if I wake up and the motherfucker's stuck in my toes, 
motherfucker, you you bet to believe I'm gonna kick your fucking teeth in. But my overall thought is that Talk To Me is exactly the type of horror film I've been looking for to review. And I finally found something that I could truly say this movie is a fucking a horror masterpiece. Like, without a doubt. And I also found out it was directed by some fucking YouTubers. Yeah. But anyway, Sheila, thank you for telling me to check this movie out. Hopefully you enjoy my review on it. My grade for this movie will have to be a B plus. I actually enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. This movie is definitely worth the watch. If you haven't seen it, please check this movie out. So, Hellraiser, that's going to wrap up today's Pacific review. If you want to get in touch with your boy, search to me. The link will always be in the description down below. But... My name is Tevin Johnson and I love horror movies. And that's before I let you go. Make sure you consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And turn on that fucking bell notification. So that way when I drop another lit video for the channel, you'll be the first ones to get it. And I hope to catch you here in my next video.